Hello everyone. I'll show you how you can create some beautiful reports using DevExpress. Let's start. Now we have window interface to create DevExpress, DevExpress reports. Let's start a create new report. I press new report. I have a blank page now. Done. I'm going to do a simple example like product and categories in the report. First, we need a database design. For that, I have already my own database. I'm going to show you some data products. <clears throat> Here you see name, code, brand, and these are now for us. And we need <clears throat> categories. Select from, I call it product groups actually here we have some product categories for our test now here we have the query using inner join categories and items to get dynamic data, we need to add data source. Now I'm going to connect my connect the data source. We here we have some options here, different kinds of connection adapters. I'm going to connect to database, which is my, uh, Microsoft SQL. For now, I'm going to choose one of the table cities, finish. And here we have to add or change more and more tables, queries, procedures. We should come to this part, right click to change your connection string. You can press here, press here. <clears throat> I'm going to configure our cities query. Here you see the select query automatically created, but I'm going to change it. Next, finish. We can give a name to our query. Let's create a menu for a restaurant also with picture or including pictures I'm going to add a new band into report and bond choose the detail report click here we should choose the we should choose the data source data member and that that's it then we should get our fields to show in this area this detail part will be repeat uh, will be repeated in uh, based on row how many row coming from our table drag and drop this to here let's take a look how it seems like Pre ah, first i have to save of course let's save it to desktop restaurant menu save to assign a data source to our report after we choose the report from here, then come to this part, database icon, then choose data source. Now it is assigned. Okay, now we can place our fields to the report. Field list, product, let's move, let's, let's drag and drop the brand just to see. And yes, 
now we can continue to to make it more beautiful let's make a design layout design actually i want a picture picture of the item here Brand. category name the name which is item description let's say item description and the code Item code. Here we can specify the image URL. It can be static, or in case you you want it to be dynamic from database, you can define in the expression field here. I'm going to give you an example. First, I need a link image link my website. Here you see I have a static image link just for test. I get this and I paste it to here. After that, we can change this image sizing, also alignment. Here is the option sizing stretch. No, of course, no. <laughs> Zoom image. Let's make it sequence, save, preview. It repeats based on our item. And here you see, let's make this image dynamic from database. I have a field called image path in the database. This field in my database is relative path, which, is, which needs prefix actually. If you have your URL link full, you may not need, but I need it. So I will add a prefix here, which is a website. Then click next. Okay, now here we have image URL field to use it. Click here. Expression for URL part, not for here, because this, uh, this part expects the binary data directly, not the URL link. Expression. Here in this part we have fields, image URL, double click, that's it, okay. Here you see the database icon, save and let's test, preview. Okay, as you see the images are working, it depends on what image URL you put here, then image shows. The DevExpress X3 reports uh, allows us to make grouping in our reports grouping and also sorting I'm going to make a group example in our example we can group all records according to uh, category for that choose the band at here click here add a group then here you see we have a group header band as you see now all our records are grouped based on category column let's make it more much better